We found the new Gigabyte Gaming 7 motherboard at CES, equipped with what one could assume is an AMD X470 chipset. Given information from AMD on its own launch timelines, it would also be reasonable to assume that the new motherboards can be expected for roughly April of this year, alongside AMD's Ryzen CPU refresh. This is all information learned from AMD's public data. As for Gigabyte's Gaming 7 motherboard, the new one with an AM4 socket, the first thing we noticed is that it has real heat sinks on the VRMs, and that it's actually running what appears to be a higher-end configuration for what we would assume is the new Ryzen launch, what we've been calling Ryzen Plus, or some have called Ryzen 2. Before that, this coverage is brought to you by Thermaltake and the Flow Liquid Cooler. The Flow is a 360 millimeter radiator with three RIN RGB LED fans. You can program the fans for custom lighting through software, and then of course benefit from the larger radiator size and cooling performance. Learn more at the link in the description below. Starting with the heatsink, Gigabyte has taken pride in listening to media and community concerns about VRM heatsinks over the last year, and has now added an actual fin stack atop its 10-phase vCore VRM. To give an idea, we saw a significant performance improvement on the EVGA X299 Dark motherboard with just the finned heatsinks, not even using the built-in fans, so it's definitely worthwhile. We saw upwards of 20 degree improvements over the fat blocks in some cases with EVGA's board, since those blocks don't provide any actual service area. The VRM on the new Gigabyte board is a doubled five phase using international rectifier 3599 V-Core drivers with 3553 MOSFETs. An IR3501 is used for the PWM, and the board is comprised of a six layer PCB. A doubling scheme is used to create an effective 10 phase and an additional two phases are allocated to memory on the Gaming 7 Wi-Fi board. These MOSFETs are cooled with direct touch copper heat pipes, or one of them anyway, at six millimeters in diameter, which contacts via thin thermal pad for maximum heat transfer potential. The aluminum fin stack takes up the rest of the heat spreading process and Gigabyte still managed to get some visual elements in there as well. Other keyboard features include an external clock gen, which is really useful for dialing in overclocks to smaller intervals than whole 1x jumps. Additional overclocking features include a dual BIOS, useful for recovery, and targeted support for up to 4000 MHz memory, from what we've found out anyway about AMD's new CPUs. It's unclear how well the target will work out for 4000 MHz, but that's what we're expecting as of now. The board has two BIOS dip switches present for dual BIOS or single or dual BIOS mode. And for PCIe slots, the board has three PCIe X16 length slots, which are wired for X16, X8 for the first two, and then by four for the third one, based on the backside of the motherboard. A couple of PCIe X1 slots are also present, and then ancillary features include the fan headers present all over the board perimeter, which is welcomed, and an integrated IO shield. The rear I.O. panel includes a CMOS clear switch and a power button, both of which are also welcomed, along with some digital RGB LEDs that I guess we'll take at this point. And finally, it is named the Gaming 7 Wi-Fi because it's got a 2x2 Wi-Fi module on there. As for release timelines and price, given the presence of the AM4 socket and AMD's event at CES for the Ryzen refresh, we can assume this is X470. Release is targeted at roughly April, based on AMD's own schedule, and we think the board will be in the $250 range, plus or minus a couple bucks. Briefly, Gigabyte also has a new mining motherboard. We won't go too in-depth on this one, but it's a B250 chipset for Intel LGA socket CPUs, LGA1151. As for PCIe slots, the mining board has 12 of them, one of which is a full by 16 length, which is also electrically wired for by 16 and it's using two Molex headers on the board for additional power to the PCIe lanes. The motherboard also will include a three-way splitter for power supplies, so you can piggyback multiple power supplies for the single board, and that's about all we know about this one for now. So, as always, you can help us out directly on patreon.com slash gamersnexus, subscribe to check the rest of our CES 2018 coverage, and we'll see you all next time.